transition in your life. Uh, uh, hey, folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome <laughs> aboard. You know what this is? This is Murder Hobo, Inc., the Cacophony Edition, our uh, urban soap opera. No, Carol, it's not a campaign. It is an urban soap opera. Uh, three adventurers in the great city of Cacophony wandering around, getting themselves into trouble like it's a Friday night sitcom on. Thursday. Uh, before we get into tonight's episode, let's introduce you to our cast. As always, tonight we have a newcomer to Cacophony, not to Murder Hobo Inc., but to Cacophony. Uh, we'll start it off with Heidi. Heidi, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Heidi and I am playing Onyx. She's a deep gnome warlock and um, I'm excited to be here, see what uh, shenanigans we can get up to. And I am wearing my Murder Hobo Inc. t-shirt. Yay. There you go. Yay. <laughs> and I've got my Adventures in Phil Barcuzzi. So Man, you're all set. I'm all set. Oh, yeah. you, you, you've already set the pitches for me. Yeah. Uh, next up is David. David, uh, who are you? Who are you playing? Okay, I'm David. I'm usually either here or recently. Uh, well, over there <laughs> <laughs> between the roles. Uh, sometimes I'm on the one shots on Saturday, and tonight I will be playing Zadar, our f friendly neighborhood, non binary, gender fluid, arcane trickster. There you go. <laughs> uh, certainly, last but not least, normally behind the camera, tonight behind and in front of the camera, our producer, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Hi. Who are you playing? Uh, well, I'm getting ready to beat my dog, but. Um... <laughs> I am playing Camille, a necromancer <laughs> warlock, <laughs> and uh, I was like cacophony, so there I'll you be go. sad if Mortimer's not in our episode now. Mortimer's not going to be in our Aww. episode tonight. Uh, an, other, an old time friend might be there, though. Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want cool shit like this or like Heidi's got on. Uh, it's down there. If you want to join us in Discord, just chat D&D &D during the day while work passes you by. It's down there. Most importantly, uh, if you want to be on the show, talk show or one shot, let us know. M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, let us know. Uh, we like to thank Pirate Dog Dice uh, for the dice that roll too high, as well as OddfishGames.com. OddfishGames.com. When your game stinks, add a little adventure sense tonight. Rowdy Tavern again, because I'm digging it. Uh, and Kyle, I know you're watching. I'm not saying there's a die for you, but there Let might me. be. There might be. There could be. Uh, <laughs> folks, uh, last week in the soap opera, these guys had to rescue Zephyr Zoran, the councilman's daughter. She's a little bit of a goth, a little bit of a renegade, a little bit of a runaway. And David attempted to dissuade her over to the dark side and become an adventurer, even though she's an underage girl. Uh, report she's to 14. Princeton, David. <laughs> yeah, she's underage. Uh, with that, uh, David spent some hard-earned coin and unhocked a box. Uh, upon taking Zephyr back to the councilman's uh, chambers, uh, they noticed that they better hang on to the box because there's some papers in there that... Uh, kind of bond the soap opera together <laughs> but that ain't this tonight tonight uh everybody went back they discovered a new uh, guild member uh soundly asleep in her bed and the next morning uh they fully planned on go ahead and investigating the box uh when a beating on a door came prompted by some little street urchin saying you need to get to the guild immediately. It is of utmost urgency. It's always utmost urgency. <laughs> Do you guys acquiesce and head that way? I guess yes. so. You ever notice yeah. we never get to sleep in? <sighs> it's There's just... never time for coffee. Nope. No. Yeah, nope. There, there will be an opportunity for coffee. Okay, well, I'll put my travel <laughs> mug on my carabiner next to me. The, the yeah, flying, the wooden travel mug. <laughs> yeah. The flying Java it might not always be doing business, but it's always open. Uh, folks, you get to the Adventurers Guild. The other members of the guild are present. All of you are bewildered. And Fauntleroy, trusted lieutenant of the guild master himself, Fomunda D's Nuts, calls for you guys to dip it. He has some important 
important information. Uh, he is quite excited and upon investigation in good health. He has a very wide smile and quickly runs to the front door and checks outside before sprinting back into the main room to address you. Confident that the mission doesn't have a life hanging in the balance, you take seats and listen to the man. Okay, as many of you may or may not know, today is Famunda's birthday. Oh. Uh, I have made some basic arrangements to get all of the things ready to go. Uh, we have a couple of chores that need to be addressed. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and choose those at random. Uh, they involve things like uh, getting the ale, uh, getting the gift, which is paid for. Um, Thank everything, God. Everything is on the guild's dime because the guild obviously takes a cut of your profits. Uh, <laughs> he is very excited over all of this. Uh, he's thrilled to no end. Is it a surprise party? It is a surprise party. So if you see Famunda... Do not tell him what you're doing. Be as vague as humanly possible. He will let you know that in advance. Uh, next, he asks each one of you to draw straws. We will start with the newest member of the guild, Onyx. Onyx, give me a D6, please. Five. Next up is Zidar. No I draw the right. short straw. <laughs> One. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Camille. Three. A little better. <laughs> Your other associates get two, four, and six. Uh, let's see. Famunda tells Onyx that you have drawn five. Uh, so that means you need to go to the stables and pick up the gift. I have decided, uh, that our master truly enjoys his equestrian habits and the guild, I've been siphoning a little money off each time. Uh, we are going to get him a horse, uh, a very prized, uh, I think it's a stallion. I have to check because that's important. Is it one of those gold woodens? Yes. Uh, it's a stallion, and you need to contact Major Burns, Onyx, at the stable. Uh, but I wouldn't do it too soon because the party's not till later, uh, and you don't want to be wandering around the streets with a horse. Just don't uh, call Major Burns ferret face. That's right. Uh, you guys uh, are allowed to team up if you'd like, which, uh, yeah, this is not a series of singles, so you guys should probably uh, team up together. Uh, okay. Next up is Zadar. Mm -hmm. uh, Zadar. I drew the, the one. one. The cake. Uh, oh. you, you know what? You need to go make sure that the cake's getting done, and you should probably do that first, because if it's not getting done, we're going to have to make uh different arrangements got Camille it. got number three which is uh invitations uh here are some invitations uh you need to hand out uh including a pair of council members Lay down. it's important that uh they get the invitation it is a small affair as famunda is not a huge socialite uh but yes that is something that you can do uh you mean a former Bard is not a socialite. Not a socialite with the uh, bigwigs here. He, oh, he's, okay. he's the adventurer's he's, guild master. He has he's to, more of the common folk. Yeah. Yes. He, he's a moron. Uh, the others got invitation, ale, uh, and a secondary gift. So uh, that in mind, Onyx uh, needs to get the horse. Uh, Zadar needs to check on the cake. And Camille needs to do the invitations. Uh, Fauntleroy will tell you Zadar's mission should probably be done first. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Have that sounds fear. good. Well, we'll take the invitations and check the cake and then do that and then go get the horse. That sounds like a plan to me. Let's not put it before the cart. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's going to be that kind of night. It is going to be that kind of dumbass night uh <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, i'm looking at what i should do here uh let's 
draw. Uh, you guys are, of course... Where the hell are you? Uh, the guild. Right there. Huh? Yeah. No, that's not right. The guild hall's right here. Uh, your first target is the cupcake place right here. Hey, okay. coffee shop's nearby, isn't it? Uh, the coffee shop is right I there. I knew it. Yep. Nice. The Flying J. Nice. Uh, so, you guys wanted to check on the cake first, am I correct? Yes. That is We're correct. going to the Baker's Dozen, uh, which is this one right here. Uh, you can stop at the Flying J here. Uh, yeah, I think I have to adjust the map. Because I'm trying to remember which one is the Adventurer's Guild. Anyway, uh, do you guys want to... Well, you guys will have to come up the road, naturally, mm -hmm. uh, and cut over here. Uh, you've got about four hours to go ahead and make sure that everything gets done. So, okay. uh, path of least resistance, I assume. Yeah. Everybody give me a D6. Five. One. Four. Four. And Camille, DC 12, dodge the chamber pot. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Ten. You make it. Thank God. Uh, it splashes on your boots. Oh. Oh. Uh, as you I zap on. that with press the digitation oh, for you. it. There you go. I'll buy you a coffee or a tea. Febreze yeah. it. Yep. Uh, the, city, <laughs> the city is strangely busy today as crowds fill the street, making navigation quite difficult. At every turn, someone steps in front of you and slows your progress, and with your shortened time frame, you're getting a tad upset like me in traffic. As you close in on your destination, the crowd moves out of your way only to discover that the road is blocked with a sick animal. What would you like to do? What kind of animal is it? It is an oxen. Aww. A pair of them have fallen ill and are both down on a cobblestone. The owner is pleading for assistance as he is helpless and is watching his beasts die. He will oh. spot the party and recognize you guys as heroes and ask for your assistance. Okay, it's it's animals. I have a soft spot for them. Okay. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> so we approach. Ah, uh, the man right. introduces himself as Moog, and he has announced that his oxen, Steve and Stavetta, are sick, and they are his major source of commerce, and he needs them to pull the wagon filled with grain to the mill, uh, which might be useful for your issue. He will ask you if you can fix what ails the creature. Do you accept? Sure. Um, Sure. DC versus medicine. So oh, medicine Lord. check. Uh, so, okay. I'll try. Turns into the medicine show. 14. 15. Lop it to me. I got a five. Uh, Onyx has no idea. She is trying to keep the crowd back. Nothing to see here. Go away. You're fine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Camille and uh, Zadar, you both noticed that these animals have intestinal blockages. Oh. 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 <laughs> Can we give them a coffee infusion? <laughs> Ooh, that's uh. a thought. Caffeine does supposed to help with that. Uh, uh, it's, yeah. it's starting to create a substantial backlog. Oh, uh, <laughs> if you if you've seen Charlie's Angels too, when she helps give birth to the animal, yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Oh, who's Lord. who's gonna be the first one? Uh, uh, I I guess the dar. You... Well, <laughs> I, I've got the clean up spell. So <laughs> now Zadar, who are you tonight? Oh, uh, I, I'm still, you know, spiky haired Billy Idol. <laughs> okay. uh, very good. Uh, you're on reach up and in. Give me an animal handling check. Let's see if you can find the blockage. Oh, ah! <laughs> poor oxen. Probably so not with a seven. 
Uh, your, your arm is not long enough to reach whatever it is. Uh, uh -oh. Camille, you're on Stavetta. How about you? Uh, 17. Uh, you feel something viney. Give it a firm tug. The oxen oh, and its flatulence fills the air. And, oh. uh, <laughs> it appears to be some kind of rope-like material. Uh, oxen's eyes blink several times and up Stavetta goes. However, poor Steve still on the deck because Zidar didn't take enough chutzpah to reach on in there. <laughs> you want to try it again there, uh, Stinky? <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and give it a, give it a whirl. <laughs> yes, that was an intentional pun. Okay. 20. <laughs> a dirty 20. Uh, you go all the way up into the shoulder. <laughs> and like, uh, oh. you, you, you two uh, feel it. Steve, the oxen, is not happy as you are rib tickling him and not in a positive way. But you do manage to grab it. It looks like the pair got a hold of some old rope and ate it and it tied themselves in knots. The knots. <laughs> uh, however, uh, uh, Steve does pop up and Morg is extremely happy. He is thrilled to no end. You have saved my business. I do not have any money to pay for you. However, uh, one, two, Camille, three, four, Onyx, five, six, Zadar. Four, Onyx. Uh, he looks at Camille and he looks at David or Zadar, and they're both covered in oxen shit. He says, <laughs> Take this for your trouble. It's always brought me luck. And he flings an item through the air. Make your dex check to catch it, Onyx. Oh, please catch Hope it. Hope you catch it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dex 11? Nope, falls on your foot. Uh, it appears to be a lucky rabbit's foot with the rotting remains of a bone sticking out of it. Uh, hey, you. But, you know what? Hey. That works. Yeah. Uh, as you pick it up, you realize this damn thing's magical. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, you will gain an advantage on a roll of your choosing. Nice. You only get one time and then it disappears. But it's something. Yeah. Uh, there you okay. go. <laughs> okay. Zadar's going to clean up casting Prestidigitation a number of times. Let me For see. me and Camille. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Give me you. a d20 the first time you do it. See if you throw shit everywhere. Uh, okay, nine. Uh, you fling poo, but it does not hit anybody. Okay. Uh, and the oxen will give one. Uh, Camille, a big old wet oxen kiss. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is very happy. He wishes you all the best, proclaiming that you are heroes Uh to be true uh scamper on brave adventures uh, yeah yes, yes. uh yes. signage of the flying j approaches and behind it is the baker's dozen your destination would you like to stop by and pop into the shop yes yeah yes, i would uh camille go ahead and uh d12 against me let's see how busy he is <laughs> nine eight uh he is busy but you managed to Pop into line as he, come, come, my friends, come, my friends. What would you like? I'm buying. This has been a shitty morning, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're cleaned up, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> What's anybody want? I want my coffee. I've set my mug up there. My travel mug. Fill her up. Yeah. Flying travel, oh. travel mug. Get coffee, oh. too. Uh, sure. I'll have a latte. <laughs> uh, I knew you would. Uh, today, uh, the design is a feather. Very nice. Nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Not not extremely original, but the ice giveth and the dice take it away. Uh, <laughs> coffee in hand, the fresh brew is delicious. Mm. Everybody roll a D twenty, see if you get bumped. Uh, Twelve. Uh, uh -huh, six. Nine. <laughs> uh, Onyx gets bumped, but she maintains grip on her beverage. 
without spilling it. Uh, the flying J is yeah. The flying J is filling up. Uh, time to go around the corner, uh, which is the second arrow right here. Okay. On to the and cupcake mistress. It. Yep. That's it. Uh, you get to the baker's dozen, and the crowd has thinned out from the stinking mess that is the oxen, and you are able to speed over to the bakery to check on the cake. Entering the building does not give you much hope, as the individual in charge is yelling at his people in a very deep baritone with a strange accent. Clearly something is amiss. Where are, where are the ingredients? Oh, man. oh no! Is this the Russian Scottish guy again? It, it is, but it's supposed to be Swede the chef, and I don't do Swede. I think I'm doing <laughs> Swedish right now, so that doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> he asks what he can do for you, brave heroes. Uh, we are checking on the order for the Adventurers Guild. I believe it is a cake. It is a cake. And there's a problem. Uh, the mill has not brought all of the ingredients over, and they are not answering his calls for assistance. Uh, would it be possible for you to run over to the mill and see what the hell the problem is? Uh, yes, <laughs> we <don't laughs> definitely. <have> a choice. <laughs> we don't have a choice. Yep. Uh, they got any he, cupcakes laying around that I could take with me to eat with they coffee? They do indeed. Mm. Uh, mm. On the way out, the Swede will ask uh, you if you would like to taste the icing on his freshly made cupcakes. Yes. Ooh, yes. Everybody roll con. Uh, see how you like it. 17. Uh, 15. 15. Yeah, I don't think I like mine. I got a uh, <laughs> two. You dropped your cupcake on the floor. Oh, uh, oh. David, uh, you're the little boy with the ice cream dancing. And then yeah. the ice when it falls. Uh, oh. Camille and Zadar will tell you, well, oh, that's too bad. This is delicious. <laughs> uh, as you move through the morning rush hour, you quickly arrive at the mill, which is clearly the mill because it's got the rotating fins on it. Uh, unfortunately for you, uh, you have to break through a line near the leather corset bordello. Uh, There's a line at the bordello? Oh, it's, nice. Everybody just got off work. It's oh. the night shift. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, jeez. But as you push through, uh, nobody messes with you because... You know, your heroes. Uh, but as you arrive, as the wings of the mill groan slowly in the breeze uh, that comes over the wall, you notice why the shipment hasn't been delivered. There is a sign stating closed hanging on the door. What would you like to do? To the mill. Okay. I go uh, to the door and rap on it with my stick and yeah. say, Oi, pricks. Nice. <laughs> uh, D12 against me. 11. 7. Uh, no answer. Hmm. Is the Try the door. Not. Is it locked? Uh, the door is not locked. Nice. Okay. We open it to see what's inside. Uh, two men. One half beaten. The oh. other one uh, armed in a... Or, mailed in chain mail uh turns around and sneers at you you best leave if you know what's good for you you're beating up a miller what kind of douche are you <laughs> <laughs> and that'll bring us to first initiative nice. <laughs> yeah. he's apparently a fighting douche <laughs> okay initiative 15. 19 I'm going to have to start being like how rolling initiative. I got an no. 11. <laughs> no, no, you do not have to be like that. No, do not do that. Uh, 19 Onyx, you spring forth into action when you see that Hamish Tob is roughing up uh, the guy who's supposed to make the cake, John Grist. Oh. And so I know Hamish? You know John. Okay. I'm just throwing his name out there for ease. <laughs> because he is an 
odd fish. Nice. It's an uh-huh. odd fish. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to look at him and say, we don't have time for this. We need the miller. We need the flour for the cake. You got to leave us alone. And I'll start like my hands will crackle with like um, Eldridge blast energy. Oh, I was hoping it was the knuckles. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to do anything yet. Uh, as he grips John Grist in his uh, shirt tails, uh, give me an intimidation check. That is not good. That is six. <gasps> Next up is the. Well, fifth. I am only three and a half feet tall, so. <laughs> yeah, he is not three and a half feet tall. He is bigger than even Zadar. Camille, <laughs> you've got a fifteen. That means you go next. Uh, can I cast invisibility on myself? Sure. Do I need to roll? Poof. Nope. Okay. Uh, is that my uh, one action? That's your action. Okay. You can take a bonus action, but you don't need to heal, so I think you're fine. Uh, next up, Hamish says, little lady, you're right. I don't have time for this. Picks up John Grist and heaves it on Onyx, even Zadar. Oh. Odd. At the little Onyx. Uh, oh, no. I'll use Dex as my modifier. Uh, I don't think I got you. 13? Uh, just gets me. I'm 12. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, give me a dex 12 check. Uh, to a check or a save? Check to see if uh, John Grist knocks you over. What, 18. Uh, you are not knocked over, and you take three hit points of damage from the miller solidly bolting into you. And a hearty laugh comes from Hamish. Ha 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 ha. You are up, Zadar. Oh, old merry men. So <laughs> Zadar makes another image of himself <laughs> appear right beside him, and we bl- both flip him off. <laughs> nice. So there's but, four birds flying by. Folks, oh yeah. this is for mature audiences. Uh, top of the order, Onyx. Uh, he, he went bowling for Deep Gnome. <laughs> it's going to be a tough spare to pick up. You can do it. Onyx? Oh. <laughs> um, Things no, move fast in cacophony. Yep. I guess so. I am going to try and hit him with an Eldritch Blast then since he's being a douche. Yep. Eldritch Blast. Alleged douche. No. Okay, so 21. Oh, easily he hits him. Hit. Nice. And that's a D10 for four points of damage. That ain't going to help. Uh, the invisible Camille. Camille, give me an insight check, please. Uh, 15. The floor is covered in grist mill dust. Oh, no. Am I what you want to do? Am I in front of him or behind him? You are in front of him. And the miller's been thrown on Onyx. On Onyx. How far away from him am I? Eh, probably 20 feet. Ah. Uh, okay. Um, I will cast Web on him. Ooh. Nicely done. Uh, what do I need to save? I have no idea. I think it's a strength check. Uh, well, it doesn't matter with that roll. <laughs> uh, webs fill the grist mill and encompass uh, Hamish Tob, noted douchebag. Uh, <laughs> Lord and Lady Douchebag. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. The, the webs fill everything, but the the stone, the grist stone, is rubbing against the web. What would you guys like to do, Zadar? Uh, well, I think my priority, <laughs> my priority is uh, Hamish. So, uh, using the new bracer of flying daggers, Ooh. Boom, boom, 
Uh, two dagger attacks right away. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah, don't okay. you know? Uh, the first rope him is... up and capture him or anything. Fucking kill this guy. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Channeling uh, Daphne. Uh, that's right. That's it. Uh, fourteen for the first one. Does that uh, hit? No, oh, no, that does not hit. Well, actually, you get advantage because he's stuck in the web. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, fourteen was the best. That was uh, one dagger. <laughs> rings off the armor. And it's like, wow, these new daggers are not really working that well. <laughs> How bad was that? Uh, well, the disadvantage was a nine. No, advantage. Yeah, I know. Oh, it, I know. I'm running. I'm rolling the advantage okay. die right now. Gotcha. I was trying to make a joke. Anyway, uh, sixteen for the second one. Uh, sixteen just hits him. Okay, I figured as much. Uh, let's see. Okay, that is going to be that dagger hits him for a whopping seven points of damage. Going to be a long night. Uh, yep. Round three, top of the order. Onyx, you're up. Okay, so is John still near me? Like on uh, the ground or whatever? Yep, you can step over him if you'd like. Well, I'd like to help him up and ask him where the flower is that needs to go to the baker. With the uh, bird or armed robber here. Uh, 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 over there, I guess. <laughs> okay. Are you going to mm. take care of oh yeah not, oh never yeah mind. Uh, and he goes running out the front door screaming for the cops uh what would you like to do onyx okay i'm gonna eldridge blast the uh, hamish again okay at oh, advantage no one trick pony jokes this time frank <laughs> Yeah. Heidi is our guest tonight. I only mistreat <laughs> the regulars like that. That's an 11. Uh, that's going to miss. Yeah. Maybe if you had another spell in your repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Camille, it doesn't really matter that there is a fine flower dust all over the place because Hamish, for the moment, is still trapped in the damn web. Okay, so I will cast Rave Sickness. Great. What am I rolling? Uh, to hit him. Two. Okay. Uh, twelve. Uh, plus four, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's sixteen, so that does hit. Okay, and it's two d eight. We all know what's going to happen next. <laughs> Fog cloud. No. <laughs> <laughs> Eight and four. So 12. Oh, your spell attack modifier is five. You easily hit him. Uh, how much damage did you do? 12. <laughs> well, you doubled the damage. Uh, that might cause him dysentery. Hmm. As long as it's over on his side. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't even come close to dysentery. Uh, he begins to vomit and gets madder and madder and madder. And with a seven, he's going to remain in that fucking web. Uh, <laughs> star. Uh, I, I tell him. I should... To the pirate dog dice. <laughs> nice. I tell him a little joke about better out than in. <laughs> and right. He's going to have to do a wisdom save. Nat 20. Oh, I, went, I went with a green one this time. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, he does not uh, tell me another joke. Uh, again, in between his puking? Sure. <laughs> yes. Top of the order. Onyx, give me a perception check. That is a nat. One. You don't hear shit. <laughs> You're yep. up. Yes. And I am going to say chill out and I'm going to do chill touch. Aha. Uh -huh, catchphrase. <laughs> uh, uh, 20 to hit. Dirty 20. Yep. That gets him. And a D8. 
cannot believe I'm not even going to get to swing my morning star at you guys. No. <laughs> Six points of damage. Uh, chopping him down. Uh, Camille. Oh, by the way, Camille, casting the web spell, you are now visible. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's fine. Um. <clears throat> about Ray of Frost? Cool off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chill out. Oh, that's oh. not going to hit. Uh, six. Uh, remember, it's with advantage because he's stuck. Oh. Mm, ten. Nope. Phew, you freeze the web. That's going to give him advantage. Ah, shit. Pulling mm. it down. A three. And a 10. Uh, not nearly enough advantage as poor Hamish Tob, entrepreneur, is still stuck. Uh, Zadar, perception check. Okay. Uh, perception, huh? Okay, not too bad. 21. Uh, you hear the sound of boots headed this way. Ah, okay. The cavalry may be coming. Thank God. Can we just get the flower and go? <laughs> I'm yeah. open. And try. You're up, Zidar. Oh, okay. So I am up. I uh <laughs> Heidi took my spell. So <laughs> You can do it again. I know. I uh, actually uh, You can do uh Jack Webb. Freeze. Freeze. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and chill touch again. Catchphrase. There we go. All right, 21 to hit. So Hits. Okay. And that does uh, five necrotic damage, and he is at disadvantage again. And I just now posted to Twitter that we were alive. My apologies. Uh, very good. Uh, top of the order. Once again, perception check there, Onyx. All right, perception is not going to be much better. That is nine. You still don't hear shit as the guards are coming in. What do you want to do? <laughs> They're coming in? You don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna hit him again with another chill touch. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, let's see. 24 to hit. Yep. And three points of damage. Damn web spell just took me right out. Real <laughs> perception check. We're like a couple of kids poking at them with spectral <laughs> <Yeah>. fingers. <laughs> like, oh. uh, yes, you hear the guards uh, break the entryway and head on in. Uh, the cops are here. What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Roscoe. <laughs> Emil, you want to light him up or you want to turn him over to the guards? I'll turn him over to the guards. We got other things to do. This guy was yeah. beating the Miller. so. Well, I'll be darned. This is Hamish Tob, and you guys have captured him. He's a wanted criminal. Oh, is there a... Is there a reward? There is a reward. 50 gold pieces. Awesome. You can get it over at the uh, Hooskow, the guard outpost. <laughs> we'll be there later. That'll work. Uh, his men jump in there. Uh, let's see how they do. One of them gets stuck in the web. <laughs> Two of them get stuck in the web. And oh, no. The sheriff is just pissed. Uh, your man, John Grist, says, oh, thank you. You guys are great. Uh, the stuff that you need for the bakery is right over there. Oh, okay. okay. So, so can we so it? Goes, uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a small bag. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I, I grab the bag. Give me a deck or give me a D20 oh, roll. Oh, no. Oh, D20. Yikes. Okay. Uh, 11. Ouch. Uh-oh. <laughs> you spill some contents out of the bag. Oh. Ow. But only 8%. Oh. 
Oh, oh okay. Thank God. Oh, I do. <laughs> that is probably going to be enough. Or John Grist says, if you wait an hour, I can go ahead and make some more. No. It'll be mm. fine. Well, yeah. We'll be fine. I'll All try right. to be more careful. <laughs> Heading back over to the Baker's Dozen, I assume? Yes. Uh, yes. Swede the cook sees your imminent return. Uh, notices you got fear on your feet. Uh, and says, is that my package? <laughs> yeah, it's your, it's your package. <laughs> he weighs it. Zadar, uh, in 3E, they called it luck. Give me a d20 roll. Oh. Gosh, 14. Well, this seems about right. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I apologize. I will deliver it uh, expeditiously. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're so awesome. I do. Have another cupcake. Oh, uh, those cupcakes rock, my friend. As I say that as Billy Idol. Nice. <laughs> Give him uh, a stare and take the cupcake. <laughs> uh, everybody, uh, well, uh, Camille and Zadar, you know they're good. Onyx, let's see if you drop this one down there. Oh, I'm going to cry if she does. Yeah, that's a six. Oh, no, you must not like my cupcakes. Get out. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm sure they're lovely. <laughs> The floor thinks so. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> On to challenge number two. Okay, feeling sorry for Onyx. Uh, I hand her my cupcake. Hopefully you can hold on to this. <laughs> Onyx, give me another d20. 18 this time. Yes, you hang on and it is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zadar. You're welcome. Okay. Suck up. So I... How do we know where I'm supposed to deliver these invitations to? Uh, it's the government building. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's the next place. Uh, which is right here, as we all know and love the government building. However, oh. uh, let's see. Tell me they're not shitting oxens in our way again. Yeah. There are not. Uh, actually, the crowd is thinned out in Cacophony, which is a huge plus for you. But by the time you reach the government building, you realize that a large group of people are milling about the plaza in front of the building. Oh, no. Apparently, there is some type of civil disturbance that has just ended, and the guards are sorting it out. You push your way up to the line of guards, but run into one of the activists, causing them to lose the invitations. Uh, ah. The invitations fall from Onyx's grip, or... Oh, yeah, it was me. Onyx, right? Um, it was Camille. From Camille's hand into a pile of papers. The activist apologizes. Uh, D12 against me, Camille. <laughs> Nine. Two. Uh, he hands you back two folded pieces of paper uh, with the seal on top of it, and you are all set to go. That's all of my invitations? Just two of them. That's all hmm. I had was two? Just two. Oh, okay. It's just an intimate gathering. Uh, that's right. <laughs> it's an intimate okay. gathering with everybody in the guild and these two members of the council. Okay. Well, can we get into the building then? Uh, once the party reaches the line of guard, you will be noticed and identified as non-troublemakers-ish. And yes. be allowed... <laughs> Once inside the building, the party has to speak with the guards briefly, uh, including the guy whose name I need to uh, watch uh, in the archive. Uh, the guy <laughs> scrubbing the floors. Right. Uh, whoa. What are you guys doing? Invitations. Uh, two of them. I need to deliver them. He takes one. Takes the other one. It does not have a seal, and he opens it, and he goes, "So the government stinks. That's what you're delivering." What? Oh God damn it! I knew it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he is indignant at the fact that you have attempted to dupe him, uh, <laughs> noting that you only have one of two invitations. And I'm just like, "Come on, you, you know lied. us." I mm. asked specifically, and you lied and to me. I, and I said the letter on top had a seal. 
No, you said you had two invitations. That's all I had to deliver. I said you had had two folded pieces of paper and the one on top had the invitation seal. Uh. We've got got it on tape. We can play it back. Uh, Needless to say, you're going to have to track down the activist. (laughs) Should I deliver the first one first, though? Or should we? No, we should go get the activist. No, we'll go get the activist, yeah. Go with plan A. Go after the activist. Uh, You go outside, and it appears as though they're breaking up. Everybody give me an investigation check to see if you spot the correct activist. Okay. 13? 10. 7. 13 is close. You think you've spotted him, Onyx. I think I see him over there. I'm going to start running towards him. Okay. As you reach him, uh, his back is to you, uh, and you reach him without issue. Tug on the back of his cloak. Hey, you! You took one of our invitations for in there. We need it back. The lady turns around and says, Whoa there, tiny dancer. (laughs) I don't play that way. (laughs) Wrong activist. Oh, oh man. <laughs> As you realize your mistake, uh, everybody look around again. Let's see if you can spot this guy. Okay, I'm going to summon Omen <laughs> and send him up in the air. The 15 for investigation. Okay. Uh, um, same for me. Okay, for Zadar, it is a 22. Nice. All three of you at once go. There he is. (laughs) Uh, He is being roughed up by some guards. Oh, Oh, good. They'll hold (laughs) us. Yes. So so we go up uh, with the guards. We identify ourselves as adventurers and heroes. Heroes. And say, we need to... (laughs) We need need to search this man for, for an important document. D12 against me. Okay. Nine. Oh, Eleven. Uh, he goes, sure, and punches the guy's teeth out, <laughs> causing him to slump to the ground. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. So I ruffle through his pockets and papers. You notice a P circle is increasing. <laughs> oh, Hopefully I didn't spread <laughs> to the invitation. <laughs> give, give me an investigation check to oh, see if no. you find the invite. Oh. A lot of P in this episode. <laughs> oh, man. Real adventuring heroes. <laughs> uh, no, you have not found it. Okay. I had Zadar rolled pretty high. Uh, the dice roller at 23. Oh, yeah, you find it. Okay. Still sealed. Okay. Yes. Is it dry? <laughs> D12 against me. Oh, oh I have no. to ask. Never bring up anything. <laughs> Nine. Or it is dry. Thank okay. God. Thank nice. God. Uh, Onyx, you find one of the man's teeth. Mm. You can hand eh, it back I'll, to him. I'll drop it on his, like, chest on his shirt. The guards put their hands behind their backs and begin to whistle as they walk away. <laughs> in case there's any body cam footage. Uh, with two in- <laughs> two invitations in hand, what would you like to do? Oh, uh, We gotta go back. Yeah. Okay, Scrubby Steve, what are you doing back here? That's his name. Alright, we have the two invitations now. Let me see. <sighs> I hand him the invitations. This one has red on it. <laughs> that was an issue. It's still an invitation. Fine. You may proceed up the stairs. Uh, one of the, because uh, the names are on it and you need to see. I needed to do that a little bit better. Uh, it's two of the council women. Uh, one is at one end of the hall, one is at the other end of the hall. Because as you go up the stairs, there's the landing with the archives on either side, straight ahead. There's a T-junction with five individual rooms there. Uh, you can choose the room on the left or choose the room on the right. So how long has this been? Uh, you guys are about two hours into it. So you got you got time. You got, you got good time. 
Okay. I'll let my partners decide which way to go. Uh, oh. to the left? Yeah. To the left, to the left. Left brings you to... Oh, okay. There it is. Uh, left is Eugenia, and right is Danica. Uh, so, left, Eugenia, door is shut. Oh, a as you go up on the landing, you notice some guards are clearing out some of the archives. Hmm. That's never a good sign. Apparently, uh, uh, give me an insight check. Let's see if you guys figure it out. Uh, wow, this dice roller is hot. 21. 16. 10. Uh, Camille and Zadar, uh, from overhearing the crowd, da -da -da -da, you kind of assume that maybe they're trying to find something to appease the mob, but you aren't certain. Uh, you zip over to Eugenia's office, and it says Eugenia on it. Uh, you want to knock or just walk in? Oh, yeah, uh, knock first. Knock. Okay. Come in! <laughs> uh, let's see. Camille and Zanar, you will recognize Eugenia from your prior escapades. Uh, she actually voted to acquit. Oh. Ah. Well, she is a friend. I wish that I had a cupcake to give her. <laughs> you can go back to the floor and pick up Onyx. <laughs> Onyx's <laughs> cupcake, yeah. Right. Uh, what may I do for you guys? I have an invitation to give you. Oh. Here. Takes we... it open, opens it up. Oh, we... I must I must find a gift. We will. We hope you will attend. I, I will be there with bells on. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Ching, ching. <laughs> uh, now to the right one. Yes. 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 Uh, everybody give me perception check. Ooh, 18. Uh, Damn. 21. 13. All three of you uh, hear some loud grunting, loud straining as you pass by the T junction, and you notice the guards are hauling out something big and heavy like a trunk. Thank God, I uh, thought it was going to be something else. <laughs> nope. Uh, no sex in the uh, government building today. Uh, you get down to the right one, and that has a sign Danica Moldar on it. Knock, 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 knock. Come in! <laughs> Sounds exactly like you. Uh, that, Eugene. <laughs> Weird. Okay, we go in. It's like there's no theatrical ability on the DM at all. No. Uh, you go in, and there sits Danica. She was uh, undecided on your case, uh, uh, but greets you warmly anyway. What may I do for you? We have an invitation for you. She opens it up and goes, Oh, I would be most happy to attend. I will be there. Well, we're very excited. Great. That is awesome. Uh, I will go out and attempt to find a suitable gift for the Guildmaster. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank Good you. <laughs> you guys head on out. You get to the T-junction, and you hear a tumult, almost a fight, as if there is a huge problem. Uh, just before you get to the T-junction, one of the guards pish, slams up against the door to Arawa's office uh, and slumps down. Oh. Oh, no. The air. I'll take initiative. I'm not going to do it, I oh. promise, Frank. <laughs> All right. Uh, 14. 14. Two. Two. Camille? 15. Nicely done. Uh, as you three round the corner, you notice that the heavy object they were pulling out was not a trunk. It was a coffin. Uh, oh, no. And a creature dressed in linens is beating the crap out of two other guards. Oh, no. Uh, Camille, you are up first. Uh, 20. Uh, what you doing to it? Do I know what it is? It's a mummy. Okay. Um, Mum's the word. Oh, my cat's laying on my stuff. Um... Sorry, cat. <laughs> uh, there's just nothing that looks really good. 
Why do you have Eldritch Blast? I do. How about Shocking Grasp? Sure. Oh. Reach out and touch somebody. Okay, so plus With a 20, uh, roll damage, roll damage. and Was that a nat 20? Yes. Damage, damage, and then your modifier. That makes eight. What's my modifier? I don't think you get a modifier for shock and grasp. Twenty eight lightning damage. Um can't take reactions till it's next turn. Uh shock and grasp. One D eight lightning. Yeah. So I just so how much damage was it? Eight. Nicely done. Uh however, Give me a wisdom save. As it dreadfully glares at you. <laughs> 20. You don't give two shits. Uh, <laughs> next up is 14 Zadar. Okay, again, flying daggers. One and two. Going to try to make the most out of this. So, let's see. Uh, the first one is a nat 20, so 27. Nice. And the second one is a, hopefully just a Stella, a 20. So both hit. Okay. Uh, the first one does nine points of damage. Okay. Se second one does nine points of damage. Nice. And uh -huh. uh, since there are others in the room, can I use the sneak attack? Depends on whether or not you pass your wisdom save. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess I'm making a wisdom save. Uh, yes, please. What is it? It's is it its gaze or something? Yep, dreadful glare. Oh, nine. Uh, you lose your turn. So no, oh. you do not get your sneak attack. Okay. Uh all three of you here, coin, coin. Oh, nice. Uh, and who's it going to go after? Uh, 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 uh. It is going after Camille. Plus Doody, five doody, doody. to hit. Uh, 16. Does that hit Tracy? Uh, unless she had mage armor. I don't, I don't think she, yeah, she didn't put mage armor on yet. So her AC is 12. So you're going to take the beating of a lifetime. Yikes. Uh, I'll also need you to make a constitution save. Ugh, that roll sucked ass. That roll wasn't any better. Nine. Uh, no, you do not uh, make the save. Uh, there are a significant amount of twos here, though. So six, oh. seven, uh, ten. Ten damage. Uh, three of that is necrotic. What the fuck? You, sh you know what? I got to roll 2d6 and then 3d6 because you choked. So there was a shot at 30, so you should be quite freaking grateful. Uh, that brings us to Onyx. Okay, first I'm going to cast Hex on it. Okay. Do I get a and save or just cast it? I'm going to cast it on the mummy, and then I'm going to gonna Firebolt. Okay. Fire, fire bad. Does nine hit? Close. Eleven is what hits this thing. So you're going to knock over... Uh, Scrubby Steve's water bucket and piss him off again. Uh, nice. now, everybody hears as your flaming arrow goes into Swabby Steve's bucket. Top <laughs> of the oh, oh, hang on, there are two guards there. Did he ever get that fountain clean? <laughs> yeah, but now it's dirty again. Ooh, both guards hit. Well, my twos continue. Four hit points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> Time to swap out dice. Top of the order, 15, Camille. You're up. 
Seven. Uh, that is a miss. Also, Onyx, go ahead and do the dreadful glare save versus wisdom for me, please. I forgot. Is this a magical thing? No, it's just part of its thing. Mm. Seven. Uh, nope, you lose this next turn. Uh, okay. Camille has missed. Uh, Zadar, you are up. Okay. Uh, Zadar is going to do his best, Brendan Fraser, and kind of do like a sliding, nice. you know, scimitar swipe at a leg. I hope <laughs> it's a one. God, I hope it's a one. <laughs> you do. Huh? Oh, man. Please not be a one. <laughs> 21. I, I want to keep my leg. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. All right. So that hits him with um, a whopping eight. So I just nick the leg. <laughs> and then uh, bonus action? Yes, because the dreadful glare is over. Okay. Good. Good. So with the bonus action, that is an additional four points of damage. So not bad. 12 total. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, this attack. Uh, goes to a three. That is an onyx. Oh, no. That is an 18 plus five. I need a DC con, please. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 17. Uh, 17 does pass, so you get half. I have rolled five fucking twos uh, so four plus three because it's halved is seven damage it's not like you have a plethora of dice at your disposal i know those are relegated and now we're moving to the green ones oh lord uh, those were all good <laughs> uh, onyx since you uh, failed your gaze last time you are homina 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 uh yep. the Guards will attack. Where the hell are my 20s? Uh, this time they miss. So top of the order again, uh, Camille, 15. 15. Does 15 hit? Yes, 15 okay. hits. Uh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. How far away am I? You're right there. Okay. Uh, Okay, I try to stab it with my dagger. Okay. Uh, let's see. 1d4 plus 2. Uh, 3. Whew, and that's not a magical dagger. Uh, next up, Zadar. All right. Uh, yes. Going to... Take another swipe for a leg. Okay. I bet. Damn, this dice roller is hot. 25. That hits. Okay. And that is a whopping 10 points of damage. Gonna go for the sneak attack bonus action. And that is an additional 6 points of damage. Total what, 16. What are you using on for the weapon uh scimitar non-magical uh it, it's a plus one. Oh, okay uh you said six mm -hmm. okay uh mummy time he wants his mummy <laughs> going after a guard five plus five is ten that is not going to be good enough onyx uh the mummy's looking kind of weak. Okay, and I uh, rolled a 10 on my con check to keep Hex up. Okay, so um, you're good. So I got that. I'm going to do a Witch Bolt. Okay. Nice. Just because 15. Hits. Nice. I love Eldritch Magic. <laughs> mm. And you can just pop that thing each round. Just... 11, 17 damage. Dead. Uh, the pile of linen falls to the ground harmlessly. 
uh, just as the two council women walk by, oh, we've been invited to a party. <laughs> they, <laughs> they overstep the unconscious guard, completely obtuse to the fact that there is a mess. Uh, they point to one of the guards and goes, there is a lot of clutter. This needs to be cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Poor Steve. <laughs> Uh, the guards thank you for your assistance and uh, that is it nice oh can I down one of my healing potions since I'm down by half oh crap sure, sure can. <laughs> yes sorry <laughs> cause I'm gonna, for the little guy too cause yeah so what do I roll for that d8 plus 2 no ones Okay, so I get seven back. Nine back. Nice. Ready to leave? Um, yeah. uh, I think we I are. are Let's get the flock Done. out of here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> your invitations have been delivered and you exit the building for your next and final quest. The crowd of activists seems to have grown substantially and the guards are calling for reinforcements. One protester pushes her way past the guards and rushes towards you. She has a small bottle in her tiny hands and dives for five Zidar. Always. Um, Zidar, she's pushing out the small bottle. Do you want to take it? Yes. <laughs> Keep this safe. And she gets dragged back by her ankles by the guards who uh, joyously beat her with oh, no. her life. Uh, and they are going to haul her away. That seems oh. a little severe. <laughs> These people are the ones that raised the mummy. Um, so see, oh, see folks, you get all the facts together and then you realize the totality of the evidence will preclude you looking like a dickhead when <laughs> you just went off half cocked. There's my political statement for the moment. Yeah, of get course. the facts. Yeah. Okay. Uh Zadar, what do you want to do with the jar? Uh I take I investigate it. Not open it, but just look at it. <laughs> There's a skull and crossbones on it. Oh, that doesn't seem good. It doesn't sound good. On the bottom, it says DeLuca. Holy mm. crap. Okay. I pocket that. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, I believe it's time to go to the stables, is it not? Yes, it, it is. is. Final quest. You're almost done. What an easy adventure. I can almost is. taste those cupcakes. That's right. I know. <laughs> so is it like a cupcake cake? You know, like a cake made out of like a bunch of cupcakes? I don't know. We haven't okay. had a party yet. Uh, right. You guys are headed up here to the stables, which is right next to the jail slash guard. Oh, that's right. We got to get our reward. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can swing by there first if you want to. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, we'll go there first. You go in there, uh, what do you want, says the desk sergeant. Looks like a lot like Barney Miller. Hey, Wait. we, we trop, trapped the H, what's his name? Hamish. Hamish. Oh, yeah, there's a there's a reward for that, is there not? Yeah, there is. There is. I'm going to need you to fill out some paperwork. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Who wants to fill out the paperwork? <laughs> I spread them out. And I cast Mage Hand, so I'm writing with one hand, and Mage Hand is writing with another. We're filling it out. Uh, Camille, Onyx, give me a yeah, perception I'll take... check. 13? Ooh, 20. You both notice a beaten and bloody woman uh, who uh, mouths the words, call me to you guys. It's the same woman that handed Zadar the potion bottle. How are we supposed to do that? Do they have phones here? No. <laughs> probably need to come back later. Okay. And as okay. you came to the guard uh, locale, you passed the stables, by the way. Okay. Okay. So how long is this paperwork going to take us? Yeah, Zadar's pretty quick on it. Uh, he can handle it. Uh, a few minutes later, uh, the guy... Hey, Slow. hey, there's a pandemic going on. Quit licking your fingers. Not <laughs> coffee, there's not. He uh 
he <laughs> says uh, he counts out 50 gold pieces and goes, good job on catching that guy. He's a jerk. Dude, yeah, we know. Actually. Was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guys got 50 gold pieces to your name. Uh, if you would have nice. killed him, it would have been 25. Good news. Mm -hmm. uh, across the uh, street there, right about, to, well, this is where you were. This is where you need to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go to the stables. Uh, after helping your associates with their quest, you head towards the military stables to grab D's nuts gift for the party. <laughs> Moving to the hillside district, you quickly arrive as the sun begins to set on the city after the paperwork took an incredibly long time. Uh, you arrive at the stables and are taken to a man lacking a chin. <laughs> who introduces himself as Major Burns. He immediately goes on to a speech about how important he is and orders the low-level guardsman out of the shop before asking you what you need. This self-important, bloated personality uh, wants to know what he can do for you. We are here to collect um, the Guildmaster's gift. I believe um, the Guild has bought him a stallion. Your uh, associate has just recently picked him up. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Your friend uh, from the guild. He. Uh, and what was his name? I don't know. He was about uh, your sizes. Short individual. Halfling-ish. I believe his uh, name was uh, Sir Skippy. Oh. Fuck. I hate this dude. Okay. Can you tell me how long ago that was? A couple minutes. Five, ten minutes ago. Uh, he took he the... Uh, towards the docks. Perfect. Took off on the chestnut mare. Oh. Okay. What's the horse's name? Chestnut. Does it That's like, original. Does it have any treats that it likes? Sugar cubes, I suppose. You got any of those? Uh, no, I run a very clean business here, and I don't have time for these stupid questions. <laughs> I am Major Burns. <laughs> <laughs> well, Major Burns, does that uh, does that stallion ha have uh, a command word? It's a mayor, and no, I don't know. And this it is none of this is my fault. Stallion. It was supposed is... to be a stallion. So that's on, sure that's on me. The... Oh, it's on okay. me. Yeah, it's a mayor. Okay. I need to cheat sheet this one out better <laughs> um I, this is not my fault this is not my fault he had a pin and everything just like you guys oh god, I oh, god. Guy. okay mm -hmm. uh, fuck you we gotta go <laughs> <laughs> if i had more time i would clock you with my staff it's not my fault i didn't do, <laughs> i didn't do this i'm always gonna go hear about this bunk or something <laughs> Spotleroy's going to hear about this. You're probably not going to get paid. <sighs> this wasn't my fault. He had a pin in everything. <laughs> uh, he says he went down to the docks. Okay. All right. Well, we should hustle to the docks, I guess. <laughs> uh, as you go down the winding uh, street of Hillside, uh, you leave the stables and immediately head towards the docks in pursuit of the horse thief. The road is quite crowded as people move about the city and you have to dodge in and out of the crowd. A shriek is heard from in front of you and a woman falls to the ground. Everybody DC 14 decks a save. No. Wow. Okay. 26. Three. Seven. Like Neil, Onyx, you fall flat on your asses as you step on marbles. Zadar, you manage to sidestep several marbles and you notice uh, maybe, give me a, a perception check, please. Um, uh, okay, 22. Uh, you see a group of urchins run out picking up their marbles and apologizing to people for the accident and they start to help them up. But with your perception check, you notice that the kids are reaching into pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kids after my own heart. <laughs> uh, Camille, D12 against me. 11. 8. Onyx, D12 against me. 11 again. 
Six, uh, nine. Uh, both of you have urchins helping you up, uh, copying a feel and reaching into your coin purse. Uh, give me investigation checks, even though Ernest is somewhere yelling out its perception, asshole. Uh, not 20 for 22. Uh, 10. Uh, Camille, you do not notice that uh, you are having I don't anything other I'm getting groped <laughs> you're get you you know you're getting felt up you don't know you're getting picked uh onyx you know you're getting felt up and you know you're getting picked i'm gonna uh, slap his hand away and make sure i get everything why does it have to be pig? a guy sexist pig maybe it's <laughs> you know what i'm gonna roll hand I'm, away. I'm, I'm, you know what i'm gonna roll you made him roll for it it's a guy all right then <laughs> Uh, you smack his hand away. Uh, you pardon me, Mrs. I I thought my marble went into your pocket. Hi, <laughs> yeah, no. Camille, you're gonna lose eight gold pieces as you get helped up, pretty lady. Mm -hmm. uh, Zadar, uh, odd. You'll spot Camille. Even you'll spot Onyx. Even you spot Onyx uh, beating the kid. Oh, uh, meanwhile, I cheer her on. Yay! Well, I'm probably, even if they're only five or six, I'm looking up at them. That's, <laughs> That's true. true. Uh, with the marbles out of the way and the people either knowing they got picked or not, uh, you may continue your journey. Um, yeah. Let's get going. Yeah, we got to go. <laughs> this is where the marble is as you round the dock area. Right here, uh, you see a horse, a chestnut horse, right there. I hmm. yell chestnut and go. It's too much noise. Mm. Oh. Well, I guess we got to keep going. Yeah. And it's <laughs> very crowded. Start trying to weave through the crowd to get there. You finally break through the crowd and reach the dock area. Two blocks away, you observe the chestnut horse with a diminutive rider atop it. Pushing through the crowd, you catch up to the squat figure who is surprised at your approach and spurs the tall animal, causing it to swing its hips at you. Oh, no. Uh, everybody, DC 14 versus acrobatics to avoid getting hip-checked into the boards. <laughs> Nine. Okay. Not bad. 23. Mm, yeah, three. Uh, Camille and Onyx both get hip checked. You both take D4 damage and you are knocked prone. You take one hit point of damage as you are knocked into onlookers. Uh, Zidar, what do you want to do? Uh, <laughs> Skippy LaRue is going to have to make a wisdom save. <laughs> okay. Uh, with a nine. Okay, he falls laughing hysterically. Give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, 12? <laughs> uh, this ain't Skippy. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and Travis Merriweather's friends are none too happy you have enchanted him. Everybody roll initiative as Camille and Onyx stand up. Oh. <laughs> 13. Is this my roll? Four. Rolling initiative. 12. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Kyle's got me stuck on that. Uh, that's okay. Uh, Camille, Onyx, you notice uh, a diminutive figure. Uh probably an adolescent on the ground laughing courtesy of Zadar's Tasha's hideous laughter spell uh, his two associates probably drunk uncles are pissed one uncle is going after Zadar and the others going after Onyx so Camille you're up first with a 13 who do you want to help Onyx or Zadar uh What's the horse doing? Stand in there and you will notice that it is a gelding. What's that? Mean? Oh, wrong horse. Oh, this isn't a bear. A wrong mare. horse. Ah. This is a clipped male. Oh. Um, 
I'll help Onyx. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Are you are you guys using lethal or non-lethal on these guys? I have non-lethal. Non okay. <laughs> Boy, if only you still had your web spell. <laughs> so I have uh, fourteen. That actually hits. Okay, and. Here's your here's your choices. If you're going, you can engage in standard combat, non-lethal, or you can do barroom fighting. If you're going to punch, it's one d four plus strength. If you're going to kick, it's one d six plus strength. Uh, if you're going to hit them with an improvised weapon, such as Travis Merriweather, uh, it's one d eight plus strength. Or you can use the soft part of your weapons. Uh, I try to hit him with my stick. Okay, fair enough. I think it's just 1d6 plus 0, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, 1d6 plus 0. 1. Nice. That was effective. Nice. Yeah, well, now he's pissed. He was pissed. Uh, 12, Zadar beats me. You're up. Okay. Huh. So, drunk uncle number 2. Uh, I'm going to turn quickly and flash him my best blue steel look. And he's going to have to do a wisdom save. 14 and be charmed. 17 on the die roll. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, plus zero. So, he, doesn't, he doesn't like uh, Billy. He oh, jeez. He's going to punch you in the face. Uh, speaking <laughs> of, I got a six that beats Onyx's four. It's time for the hoo -hoo! <laughs> lightning. Uh, we'll go with Onyx first. 19 plus two. A crushing fist blow. Zadar. Nat 20. Zadar. Oh, crap. <laughs> you guys both take... 1d4 plus 2. Only 3 damage with a 1. Uh, they're going to loosen your molars. Boom! Uh, uh, Onyx, after getting punched in the face, it's your turn. Well then. You brought this on yourself, and I'm going to reach out and shock and grasp. For 17? Does that hit? Oh, yeah. Oops, I dropped that one. Uh, for one point of damage. Wow. Two points in the hole. Top of the order, Camille. You're up. Uh, a crowd has encircled you. Fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. So, 15. Uh, that hits. Travis is still laughing with a two on his saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Can I do Ray of Frost on him? Sure. He's frosty. I see hot. Nice. <laughs> uh, 1d8. Uh, two. These guys He's... are going to last all night. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Zadar. Okay. I'm just going to say, hey, drunken uncle, look what you've done. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Shut off the stream right now. <laughs> uh, I am going to cast sleep on them. Ooh, how much uh, total damage are you going to do here? Uh, la, 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 la. It depends on the pool, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, let me pull up this spell. And it is, what, I think 5d8 or something? I think so. Yeah, 5d8. Okay. All right. I'm not sure Kyle's not here. Despite his shitty ability uh, to I be a DM, he doesn't Thanks to... D and D Beyond, I can be as great as a D and D aficionado as him. Uh, the pool is nine. I rolled low. 
Nobody's asleep. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Travis Merriweather has stopped laughing. He's asleep. That would have affected him. Okay. I, next. Pew, pew. Uh, it's time to play Punch Out with Mike Tyson. Onyx. A four this time, so that's not going to get you. <laughs> Art, that's an eight plus four. Twelve's not going to get you. No, uh, it's Onyx. Not. Uh, you've managed to dodge the blows. He hasn't <laughs> bit off your ear yet. Uh, what you got in the wheelhouse? Well, I'm going to try shocking grasp again. Shocked. <laughs> uh, nine. Uh, that does miss. Okay. You attempt we to touch his winky, but fail. Yikes. Uh... He just didn't measure up. Uh, oh, da, 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 da. Uh, top of the order again, Camille. Uh, the crowd is now cheering. They are now taking bets on who is going to win. Uh, meanwhile, underneath, Travis Merriweather is sawn wood. So, Camille, you're up. Uh, 16. That hits. Okay, and... Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try shocking grasp. What the hell? Ah! One. Shocked. This dice roller, <laughs> this dice roller is shit. You're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Zadar, you're up. Okay. Uh, going fisticuffs. So... <laughs> I thought you were going to say going fisting, and it's like... No, uh, that, that, that not on this show. <laughs> no, Jesus. did that to an ox earlier, though. That's I was true. about to say, that That's happened true. earlier. Okay, does a 19 hit? Oh, yeah, easily. Okay, yeah, since it's not going to be a lot of damage, but that sneak attack's going to come in handy. Okay, he takes two damage with that. And then I'm going to sucker punch him for another... Eight points of damage. Be a nice day for a white wedding. Uh, <laughs> these guys are pissed. So, uh, odd, Camille, even Onyx. Uh, Twelve, even. Onyx, he's going to try and hit you again. Uh, you will get advantage on your attack as he rolls a natural one. Zadar... Uh, Zadar, he gets you. 19 plus 4 is 23. Yeah, that hits. And he's going to drop kick you through the goalposts of life. Oh, jeez. How many points? Five. Oh, he's boys, he's... Irish. <laughs> uh, they're Irish drunks. Onyx, uh, you're up. Uh, remember, you get advantage on this attack. Yes. I'm going to shocking grasp again. Or eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen. Hit. Does that hit? Yeah, nice. For one whole point of damage. Poke, zap. Uh, Bow to Jesus, ladies. You've hit this guy four times and he, you've done a grand total of six damage. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Uh, top of the order, Camille. Time to cut the room. <sighs> Okay, uh, let's switch some shit out here. You could always John Wayne it and apologize. Have you ever been to Nacogdoches? <laughs> <laughs> so 15. Big Jake reference, folks. That uh -huh. is. Okay, yeah. and we're going to... Nacogdoches is the area I'm from. <laughs> whack him with my stick. But I've never been to Nacogdoches. Uh, one, two, six. Six. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations. You've doubled the damage. Zadar, you're up. Oh, okay. I see. Gentlemen, while well, I like a good fight, I just got to say, this has just been a terrible mistake. I mean, I'll, I'll be happy to pay for your beer money. Persuade your guy. Okay. Because he's got two wildcats on the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 17. Uh, 
I'll take beer money. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies, you are not so lucky. Uh, 18, even. Onyx, punching you again. 7 plus 4 is 11. I'm assuming that's a miss. Yes, it is. You are up. Okay. So, this time... I'll do a chill touch. Putting him on ice. (laughs) So that's a nat 20. Damage, damage, and modifier. Damage. 11 points. Ouch. Uh, Zadar, he wants eight gold pieces. Eight? Well, we just got 50. Uh no. Yeah, that ain't gonna do it. So yeah, at that at that point I haul off and hit him. Uh-huh. Not your turn. Uh, uh damn it. But Camille, that, that will happen. <laughs> Camille, you're up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 11. Nope. Swing and a miss. Zadar, you're up. Okay. 18. Hits. Okay. Um, let's see. So now you're a Two. welcher. Uh, well, for eight gold, you damn skippy. <laughs> the urchins in the crowd start yelling, He welched! He promised him money and he's not giving it to him! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Zadar's <laughs> reputation. I hit him for 10. <laughs> He's still up. He's pissed now. Yeah. Uh, oh, he pissed me off when he said eight. <laughs> uh, he punches you back. Even he ops something else. That's a one. He's going to punch you. Okay. Uh, 14 plus 4, 18. Uh, can I take an uncanny action? If you beat me on a D12, because there is there is a ring here. Okay. All right. Seven. Twelve. You can't take your uncanny dodge. Okay, I'll dodge. Uh, odd Camille, even Onyx. Camille's getting into the game. Nat 20 as he punches you solid. Four hit points of damage. Little nosebleed. Uh, Onyx, you're up. Uh, by the way, your guy is kind of wobbly. Kick his ass. <laughs> yes, so... That will be... <coughs> Ten to hit? Swing and a miss. All right. Whistles sound, and the crowd is broken up as guards yeah. arrive. Oh, <laughs> no. You're bacon. Uh, they immediately step in between all parties uh, here. One of them kicks young Travis Merriweather awake, and uh, the guard, who you do not recognize, wants to know what the heck is going on here. Oh, we thought these guys had a stolen... Uh, Horse. Uh, horse here. <laughs> I, I'm still a little stunned from the hit, uh, but uh, and then they it turns out beating on us. Exactly. It, so I mean, they they attacked us. Fair, gentlemen, your side. They take off their hats. Your Honor, may I just say? Come on, they're not sober. We we're minding our own business here, taking my young nephew. My nephew, my adolescent nephew, for a ride on a beautiful day. And these hooligans stepped up. They made him laugh, and then they put him out. Knocked him unconscious, Your Honor. Swear to be Jesus. Uh, And then they just began to just toil on us. And this one welched. He attempted to apologize and lulled me into a false sense of security by offering me a reward uh, for beer. uh, the accident and then he reneged and hit me and one of the urchins who had ripped off camille and onyx earlier goes that's right that's exactly what happened 
I'm like, zip it. <laughs> uh, hello, adventurers. Hey, Heroes. are you guys going to go after that kid too? No. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, the guard asks if you guys can dispute this. Uh, yeah, we can. So, but. Is this the horse you were looking for? No, that's the problem. Did you make <laughs> this child laugh and then put him down? It, it, it was circa, it was circumstantial. <laughs> I see. So, no, would you like? No, no. I asked, I, wait. I asked the guard. Was uninjured. The child yes. was uninjured, sleeping, and then they attacked us. We did yeah, not. You're attack the one them. that just kicked him. Exactly. <laughs> we saw that. <laughs> the two uh, drunk uncles are like, I, I didn't see that officer at all. I, I saw you gently shake him up. So I make an image of <laughs> Skippy Lugaru. I said, look, this is the root of our problem here. He stole our horse. It happened to look just like that one. <laughs> is it this one? No. no. Uh, two drunk uncles. What would it take for you to forget this issue ever happened and he's gonna say eight gold no i think no. he is 16 uh, you know what zadar go ahead and roll uh 2d20 2d20 oh no <laughs> let's see how that hot dice roller works for you now <laughs> <laughs> let's hope good so all right 2d20 all right you ready for this? Sure. A 19 and a 20. 39. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Smarty Pants. They request 39 gold pieces to forget. Oh, the you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I wish that dice roller would have sucked this time. <laughs> ah, I guess I could have told you that, but no. Uh, oh. They request 39 gold pieces. However... Uh, you are able to barter if one of you wants to attempt that. Yeah, let's attempt to barter. So uh, the guard barter. seems to think that that is a rather stiff penalty uh, and says to... Especially since I'm bleeding. Whatever. Uh, three. They look at Onyx. Onyx, uh, do you have a counter offer? Well, um, <laughs> we don't have the 39 gold. But instead of the eight, we can give you ten. Persuasion. Uh, fifteen. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, ten is more than reasonable. Yeah. Uh, the guard captain says, "What are you guys looking for, anyway?" We're looking for a chestnut stallion. The Probably being a uh, ridden by by it's a, a gift. dark. We have it, to get it there. Yes, it is a gift. It's being. Uh, the sun sun's really starting to drip low. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Is it? A, I, I tell him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's actually it. a mare, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a mare. It is a mare. Yeah. Like that one over there. Uh, could be. Two blocks over that away, you see a diminutive figure on a brown horse. Uh, again. Who's paying the 10 gold? Uh, Sadar will pay it. Fair enough. So. Uh, uh. The drunk uncles take their nephew in to go get some beers. Where is Child Protective Services when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Says the woman who got fondled by uh, children earlier. Uh, <laughs> Two blocks away and a crowd of people disgruntled that nobody's going to jail or getting beat worse uh, are now milling about the dock. Uh, but you can see this beautiful horse, his ass, uh, about two blocks away. Okay. I so, call out chestnut. Still too loud. Start making way over there. Yes. Okay. Uh, as you go around the corner, you notice the horse has meandered off and is now eating flowers out of a window box uh, <laughs> as its diminutive figure is, shall we say, charming a young lady. All right. Is somebody... he on the horse back still? He's on the horse. 
He is expounding upon the great deeds that he has done, including several deeds that sound strangely familiar to Camille and David. (laughs) About a flying machine? (laughs) There's a lot of information being passed to this lady who is certainly enjoying the whimsical nature of these charming deeds. So he, he doesn't notice us though, right? He does not see you guys at all. Okay. So I cast invisibility upon myself. You still have that? Do I? I don't know how many spells have you used. Uh, you get four first level. I used Ray of Sickness. I used Web. You get three. So, uh, I'm out then. No. You've used web and invisibility. So, yeah, you can use one more. So, yes, this would be your last one. Okay, so I'll use invisibility. You go invisible. Onyx, what are you doing? I'm going to walk up and say, Are you Skippy LaRue? I've heard so much. I am Skippy Lee, my dear. Adventurer, Uh Adventurer extraordinaire. Give me a perception check. 19. He is wearing a pin exactly like yours. Interesting. And who might you be, lovely lady? (laughs) Oh, I'm Onyx. I'm with the Adventurers Guild. Oh! You're on our horse. I'm afraid I don't recognize you, my dear, so toodaloo, scoot away. (laughs) <laughs> Zadar, you're up. Okay. And uh, I morph into Fumunda out of his sight and then pop back in and just say, do you recognize this person in front of me? You want to add horse thievery to your... How dare you take my birthday present, you hooligan? Persuasion. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez. Okay. 16. <laughs> He's not buying it, huh? Uh, is that your twin brother over there? And <laughs> sure enough, Famunda D's Nuts is just exiting the pawn shop that you guys have been to before. <laughs> What's he doing in a pawn shop? <laughs> it's his birthday. He's celebrating. Okay. At a pawn uh, shop? He likes trinkets. What would you rather it come out of the bordello? That's fine. Oh boy. Anyway, uh back up to Camille who is invisible. What are you gonna do? Okay. I am going to whack him with my staff. No, oh, please let me hit him, please. Ooh. Nineteen. Oh yeah, you crack him right in the back of the skull. Uh let's see if he falls off the horse. Uh, he falls badly off the horse. Oh. Odd Onyx evens Zadar. Oh, oh, no. 16. He lands on Zadar. Okay, I catch him. <laughs> Make the catch. Dexterity is your modifier. How much damage did you do, Camille? Uh... And you are now visible. Okay. <laughs> One. <laughs> At least you knocked him off. Yeah. Uh, does, a, does a 12 catch him? A 12 is good enough to catch him. Okay. Uh, the young lady skirts away, realizing that things are about to get ugly here. Uh, Skippy, uh, let's see if he sees. Oh, yeah. Uh, he turns around to figure out who clocked him and recognizes Camille. Uh, hey, he dickhead. Lo- <laughs> <laughs> he, he does not recognize Onyx uh, and... Famunda, he will probably recognize. Onyx, it's up to you. Please note the horse has eaten all of the flowers out of the flower box. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Oh, boy. Um, Taking a gold out of my pouch, leave it in the flower box. Can I reach the reins? (laughs) Oh, yeah. They're just hanging there. Okay. So I'm going to hold on to the horse so it doesn't go anywhere 
and wait for Fremenda to go away so we don't, like, he doesn't see us with the horse. <laughs> You see him tinkering with a small item uh, that has attracted his attention, and he is just standing right over there, but he hasn't noticed you guys yet. Does he know oh, Onyx? Man. Oh, yeah, she just was made a member of the uh, guild. Hmm. Uh, is there a different way we could go back to the... You can circle back the way you came. What are you going to do with Skippy? I... Hmm. Is he conscious or unconscious? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Throw him at the girl. I... Yeah. Here. Remember, he's got that pin. Take mm, his pin. Take, yeah, take the pin. I'm going to slide at hand his pin. <laughs> Give me a stealth check or okay. deception or whatever you want. Uh, let's see. Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, good enough. Uh, everybody, perception check. Okay. Fifteen. Ten. Perception. Okay. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Eleven. Not very good. Ten. Ten's good enough. Uh, Eleven's better, and Camille's roll is better than that. Uh, you hear the real Fomunda these nuts go, Ah! I have that appointment! And he begins to walk your way. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh all no! All right. Um, you can't make all of us invisible, can you, Camille? I Not cannot. anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um. And the horse. Should... <laughs> yeah. And um. Okay. Well, at this... Let's start like booking around. I guess away from him. Yeah. So backtracking. Yeah. Yeah. Each one of you is going to give me a d20 roll. We'll start with Camille. 18. Uh, 18. The lady who owns the flower box comes out, notices that her flowers have been eaten with some stems still sticking out of Chestnut's mouth, but also realizes that Onyx has left gold. So, eh, tit for tat. Onyx, your d20. Mm, one. Uh, you run headlong into drunk uncle number two. Uh, let's see. Uh, with a three, you knock him on his ass. Wow. Uh, fill his beer. Uh, oh, no. You want to keep going or you want to apologize? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm going to keep going. Perception check. Five. Uh, you don't notice that Fomunda is closing the gap. Uh, Zadar, your roll. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy, this... God, it goes from hot to cold. Man, <laughs> six. You find one last marble and fall flat on your face as you oh. go up the hill. Does Fomunda catch... Are you still Fomunda? Yeah, I didn't switch. <laughs> Seven. Fomunda is still tinkering with his new Thank God. <laughs> uh, you weave your way up the hillside. <coughs> you bypass the Adventurer's Guild. And you head up past the marketplace into Alfredo's, which is where the party is at. Thank God. Uh, Fauntleroy is like, where have you been? He'll be here any minute. It has been a long day, my friend. <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee for this shit. The fellow adventurers from the guild all point out that their jobs were quite easy. They had to mm. secure the venue. They had <laughs> to get the beverages. Uh, and they had to, I forget what the other one was. Oh, uh, the decorations. We've Did somebody have to get upon. the ice? We've been <laughs> upon. The door opens up and Fomundo walks in and everybody but you three yell surprise because you're whining about what a rough day it's <laughs> been for you. Uh, Fomundo seems very shocked uh, and puzzled. Uh, the two council women approach him and warmly greet him. Uh, Fomundo is in for a big treat because the cake and cupcakes 
are here. Awesome. <laughs> uh, despite your trials and tribulations, you guys have managed to make Fauntleroy's function a success. And you only Yay. got pooped on once or twice. Is there so a three-way with the councilwoman later for him? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, he's a bard, so you know they, they screw all the time. Oh. Uh, That's what we got do. over quick, so I, I'm rather surprised at that. But guy, <laughs> Yeah, uh, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> For what you guys uh, rolled, uh, you did get three of the easier ones. Plus, uh, dealing with the guy in the mill... Uh, the web web saved your ass. So yeah, it did. <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, let's go. Final thoughts, uh, Heidi. What'd you think? Well, this was a lot of fun. I especially liked the mummy. That was a nice twist in the uh, damn in the activists. Thing. The <laughs> Scooby Doo yeah. reference was excellent. When I say activist, I meant cultist. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I'd like to know what was in that. Um, poison bottle that was we'll, given to Zadar, but we'll have to find out that'll later. be another time that is another time but uh let's just say arawa knows what it is because oh. it is a toxin huh yeah uh david what'd you think oh uh, i enjoyed it <laughs> i did series of misadventures but man it was fun it was a lot of fun it was a bitch writing six different uh scenarios but it, yeah, you did it. It's yeah. it's not like you're an inexperienced DM or anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm a hack. Uh, last but not least, Carrie, what'd you think? I liked it. I I'm glad you it. burned through all your spells. Yeah. <laughs> we both did. Whatever. It's just like, damn it. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to take that much damage doing this, but yeah, it was good. I liked it. It's uh, fun. It was rough. <laughs> yeah, you know, city adventures, uh, you know, they, they, you can get beat to shit. So young DMs mm -hmm. out there, a city adventure has its own share of deadliness. Uh, not mm -hmm. as deadly as last time, uh, but had the web spell not worked or he had broken out, that guy did 2d8 plus 4 damage every time he hits. And he Ooh. had plus 6 to hit. So he was your big bad guy. Really? Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. But did you did get... that. Yeah, you did get uh, Java. So, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you got your espresso. That's right. Onyx got to drop two cupcakes. Uh, yep. Clearly is not a sugary treat fan uh but other than that uh you guys did manage to achieve it you almost botched it uh on zadar's last roll so yeah uh, that was bad <laughs> but you know so the surprise isn't done the, the best part was you didn't change so yeah <laughs> uh, folks uh we got over a little bit early sorry if you were expecting two full hours of fun -packed sorry kyle i know you're not watching because you don't watch unless you're on it <laughs> he's got to watch because he's got to hear what heidi has to say oh, yeah he's yeah. gonna be verbally because it's me Right. Yeah. Uh, but folks we hope you had a good time don't forget to follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy our stuff like heidi's got on <laughs> or like uh david's got on yeah I got uh it. let us yeah. know uh or it's down there you can buy that shit anywhere uh <laughs> most importantly the discord but most importantly if you want to see either on the talk show or on a one shot m hobo inc twitter gmail let us know we'll get you hooked up we'll get you on here you can have a little bit of fun uh and you know just enjoy a couple hours on uh during the week uh folks for all of us here oh duh uh thanks pirate dog dice for the dice <laughs> pie. and thank you of course oddfishgames.com uh don't forget your game may stink but with adventure sense your game will smell better. It smells uh, like a rowdy tavern now. <laughs> that's true. And a uh, little heads up, uh, the game they ran at Gen Con, they're thinking about doing it here again in a few weeks. So we will keep you Thanks. appraised of that. So okay. keep or check at oddfishgames.com uh, yourself. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, we're going to give you a big wave and wish you a good night. So have a good night. Have a good Yay. night, guys. Yay. Cover your mouth. Muting.